Yeah, it's gonna happen, I guess. You wanted it, you can't unwant it. So I pointed this out on Twitter. Um, the game has a, well, I'm sure there's a lot of bugs I haven't actually seen yet, but this game has one big bug that involves the voices. The voice, the voices in this game are bad. Like, not necessarily, like, I guess dialogue's not great, but they also have this Putty Patrol-ass group that's meant to be based off of uh, Tokusatsu villains. And they're annoying. And to punish you and myself for buying this game, I'm gonna turn that on. Garnering the title of Mr. even from his classmates. Um, so yeah, I'll be turning that back on. This tale begins with Kobayashi and Kunio meeting again. Yeah, that's all the story you're getting, by the way. You're not getting anything else. I hope you didn't think you were. Alright. Options. This is the... Options screen. This is how the option screen goes up. You go back. BGM. These are all the characters in the game. This is the default controls. Um, if you imagine a Super Nintendo controller, you can imagine how this would suck ass. This is how I have it now. So, I guess I'm wrong. Um, you can, in fact, get better items, but you have to be out of the game to do it, apparently. That's the impression I'm getting here. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get one of these boys. And get... One of these boys. Oh, you'll get that after you complete the game, so you have to beat the game first to get that shit. Alright. We're starting over. So you enter a character, your character gets captured, and... Kobayashi is like, oh, we gotta save him. We're sticking with Yusuke. We're gonna make Yusuke a girl this time. Friendship. I'm not changing this. Special enemies are more likely to drop select items when defeated. We'll see those later. That's Kunio. You tell it's Kunio because he doesn't have a nose. なめんなよ。とりあえず、あなたに彼を紹介しておきましょう。彼は溝口君。未来からやってきた。how do you know each other? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm a master. Kimino Katsiakua Yoko's 
これから君には悪の未来人と戦ってもらうことになる思い切り暴れてもらって構わないからね期待しているよ How do you throw caution to the wind to get wild? Don't worry about it. And then Kunio was pretty useless for most of the rest of the game. So, here's what I know. We have to start from left to right. So, we have to start by defeating 30 enemies. Well, 30 red enemies. So, not these guys. Also, the music's different, but I mean, the music's bad regardless. So, I guess. Oh, here's Hugo Yamada. Oh, Alright, so I'll get to the fighting as soon as I find a good place for the red guys to show up. Or I guess we'll just find some more putties or whatever. Here, we'll just start with the blue guys. So this is pretty much as good as it gets. Also that. Here's Toto. He's from the other games. It's a uh, Todd Thornley. So here's this big old gap. I'm gonna try something real quick, something that I saw on a Murphy Gator stream. So you can switch to Kunio and play as Kunio whenever you want. You can't switch out Kobayashi. Um, that's Kunio's move. It gets across gaps. Okay. Is this red? This looks like it's red. Yeah, okay. So these are the enemies we want to beat up first. You have to beat 30 of them, which means pretty much we have to stay here. And listen to this, of course. This is pretty much all there is to the gameplay, gameplay loop. It is a game that is meant to have multiple playthroughs, and honestly, after the first one, why would you want to play through it again? 
<laughs> That's my question. If you don't make a good first impression, you're not gonna make a better second one. No. Also, I mean the idea of, hey, to level up, you have to beat the game first is real rotten. Here's Toto's brother. You might be wondering, what do any of these characters have to do with anything? Yeah, exactly. それはともかく。この道は途中が壊さ、奴らはそういうものたち、奴らには近寄らんことだ。まあ、そうは言っても、そこの未来人も、まあ、そういう。It so have a special move. It only usually works if the uh If your player character, your helper character doesn't do much else. Mizoguchi here is basically just He's a time traveler, like like Kobayashi said, he's from the future. He's got projectiles that are gonna be useful to take down a certain enemy later. We'll get to those eventually. But right now we're just gonna focus on grinding here and beating these guys up. That's the best we can do. Also, I guess we can switch out uh, Mizuguchi. You can see a little bit of Kunio. Yeah, I'll point this out. The idea is supposed to be that you're gonna defeat the bosses in order. I don't remember if the order is exactly how it is, like, on the enemy screen. I'm just proceeding like that, because I assume it would be. Oh, there you go. Well, first things first. I'm gonna power up. This is number 12. I don't know if I've actually powered up or not. I can't really tell. Um, you do have one ability to block, because you otherwise don't have a block button. You otherwise have to attack as soon as they attack, so you have to parry their attacks. You also don't want to stay stand around somebody for that long. You also run into that a lot, where they'll just jump for no other reason but to avoid your attacks. Which, I mean, I guess that's good a AI, but... Uh, it's also annoying as fuck. But yeah, the main idea as well is to stun them a bit. And then, when they're stunned, you can use your spirit attack. That doesn't work if you have a partner around, so the best bet is to just let them die. There, see, we win. Oh, 
からこそ新小林くん我が組織そうしないと未来はたまるだぞ小林もう Oh, so then there's this character. Um, ah,、oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well, that's death number one, and that wasn't our fault. Um, if you. If Kobayashi runs out of HP, you lose. So, stuff like this can happen where the enemy can float around, so he just floats to the other side of the. Of the、uh, map, and Kobayashi, being the complete dumbass he is, chops until he falls off of the bridge here. I don't know if death really is a problem in this game. I can tell you, I don't care. We're gonna go this way.、Um, so, yeah, if there is a ありましたね。幹部たちはあと4体いるとの情報がサイさんからありました。また何かあったら。That's cool. We need to go in here. 行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。それ。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。行け。Apparently, the justification for why it's the way it is is that it is a game that you're meant to play over and over again. Gotta be fun first, honestly. Might be a fun two player game, I don't know. Mizuguchi's fucking dead. There's probably better places to grind、uh, blue characters, but I ain't bothering with it. Here, let's show off this attack. Kunio's dead. Hell yeah. Good AI. Good AI. Good AI. I'm just gonna take him out myself. Oh, it's this thing. I don't know what the UFOs give me. Oh, this is Save Kitty? Save Kitty shows up randomly? Save Kitty does exactly what you think he does. Saves the game. So if you quit, you can continue. You can go a while without seeing Save Kitty. Kunio's dead again. That's fine, hi Max. I'm playing this. Ah, fuck. Time for the aircraft. It is absurdly stiff. And it's not going to get any better. We're in UFOs now. This is a lot less cool than you think it is. So, um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Guys, I wasn't lying. I would not lie about a Kunio Kun game being bad. Um, one good thing we can do, though, not that, um, we can call in some help. Why don't we do that? We now have、uh, Ryuichi, Ryuichi and Ryuji with us, the Hattori Dragon Twins.
I don't give a damn about Toto. It's fine. To be fair, for the first 10 minutes, I didn't actually do anything because I forgot that as soon as I beat this game, I deleted it. So I had to re-download it. Um, things you've missed. Me saying that every character that shows up with the last name Toto is pointless. They're here for fan service. It doesn't really matter. They don't really matter. Most characters in this game don't really matter, honestly. Kobayashi introduces Mizoguchi by saying, oh yeah, he's from the future. There's no explanation as to why he's here, what what's going on. Just, hey, he's in the future. Toto is being KG for no reason. Stay frosty. I don't care. Um... The gameplay loop is that we have to defeat 30 enemies, so actually we're just about at the end for blue here. We have to go back to the school to get the green uh, putty patrol here. Also, this is the menu. It's as good as you as it looks. And sounds. Yeah. Yeah. dead because there's okay let me oh no 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 because uh there's a big old pit over here and sometimes some characters will just try to jump the pit but they can't um, if you're Kobayashi, Kobayashi will try to jump the pit, and then you die, and that's game over. You have to, uh, take a death. I don't give a fuck about the markers. Oh god, I don't want to fight this guy here. Can I go over here? Fuck. Number 35. So it's not... It's not in left to right order. So in order to get a good ending, you have to beat the bosses in order. Um, I beat number 12. This is number 35. I'm pretty sure 35 does not... is not the next one. You have to remember which bosses are in what order, so blue was not the correct answer. Well, fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, um, as soon as you hit 30... This is Stay Cool Kobayashi-san, uh, River City Ransom Story. It's a Kunio Kun... I'm gonna say it, it's a Kunio Kun indie game. Made by Arxis. I had this moment of... This can't be developed by Arxis because Arxis... I don't see Arxis putting a game like this out. I don't know if it's made exactly by the people who made Inferno Climber, but... Arxis has made Inferno Climber, so... The thing is, it could be. As I pointed out, uh, before... Oh, fuck. Okay, so that's pretty good, I guess. Um... Yeah. So, your actual main strategy is to get them in a dazed state and then do a special move to them. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Mizuguchi. Beat their ass right now. Beat their ass right now. Okay. If... So, that enemy... If they float over to the other side, 
and you're playing as Mizuguchi, then Kobayashi will try to jump the gap and die. So we don't want that. Yeah, Kobayashi-kun. お見事しかし、奴らの幹部にそして、どうやら君を勝つって私は不良生徒が大嫌い。一般の生徒たちにしかし、熱血力とでも言ったらいいだろうか。ストーク Toto, you you've literally said nothing. Alright, well they're gone. Um so yeah, there's no map. I have to You know what? It doesn't matter. Because I've already fucked up getting the best ending. These enemies steal your spirit, but at the in response, you can get a full special bar, including this power up. Yeah, hot blooded power, it makes sense, right? Mizuguchi, I swear to God. So yeah, um, I have after images here because I have a power up. It literally does not look like I have a power up. I mean, it looks like it, but it does not actually seem like I do. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. All right, great. Good game, everybody. Good game. <laughs> We're not staying down here. We're gonna go this way. Here's the UFO. I don't know what the point of them are. Oh, so here's a marker. You defeat them, you get an, an item that'll give you a star, I think. Also, that's the sound they make, I guess. I won't lie, um... マーカーまで簡単に倒そういえばこの町に来ているらしいのが奴だあの忌まわしい実機今君と君たちが四体目の幹部を四体目の幹部を倒したらすぐに壊れた学校のそこまで来てくれこの木を逃したらすぐに。
Also, hey, I'm gonna make the game bearable now. So those stars, um, that's how you upgrade your items, but you have to go back to the main menu to do it. Um, so yeah, if I put the voice down to zero, there'll be beeping instead, but the beeping is bugged and it doesn't work. So the beeping will never stop. Like even when the dialogue is done and it won't, it won't stop. And then it'll be compounded by another one once you open up another dialogue box. So we're gonna keep it at one. That way, you have to really listen to pick up the voices, but you can't hear anything, for real. This is the most bearable way to play this game. And because I'm wearing headphones, I can kind of still hear Mizuguchi. In fact, let's get rid of Mizuguchi. All right, so look at this uh, Gunstar Hero's ass looking font. I think we already defeated all the enemies on screen here, so this is useless. useless. Kunio Kun, no. Double Dragon, yes. This is the only track from. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's the joke. It's the only Kunio Kun song you're getting in this game, so yeah. me by the way is them is the like trailer saying oh yeah it's Kobayashi Kunio's faded rival no it's not <laughs> yes if there is another one I have not heard it yet but also the music in this game is not good anyway so you know Uh, there's these blocks, they do a ton of damage. So fuck them. I think we might have actually taken care of everybody. Oh. Yeah, here's 21, just kind of confirming that we fucked up. Yeah, no, nah, that's pretty accurate. We're gonna fucking have to, because I don't want to fight ball again. Yeah, once I hit the one hour mark of the stream, I am extremely done with this game. Which I should be done now, but... Like, there were, there were many moments when I was playing this, when it came out, that B was like, why are you still playing this game? And at first it was because I couldn't find the fucking save kitty. But then it became, well, now I'm at the final boss, so screw it. I 
I guess I'm stuck here now. I win. Gah! There's Save Kitty right there. So yeah, these enemies, only Mizuguchi can hurt them. That's why I have to switch to them. We got purple and orange left, so I gotta go back to the screen right next to the school. We're gonna bring the dragon boys back. You would think, oh yeah, that just makes the game trivial. It doesn't. <laughs> it absolutely does not. Like, you might also think, oh, well, every, every boss in the game is going to be a cakewalk with more characters. It won't be. These guys will never learn. Can I take these UFOs out of this place? I can't. They, account they accounted for that. If you leave an area while you're fighting a boss, the boss will follow you. So I guess only with the UFOs, you can't, uh, you can't leave the area. Mizuguchi's fucking dead, and I can't switch him out right now. There he goes, he's fine. I think, uh, one of them, yeah, one of them cleaned up the rest of them for us. Ah, oh, Also, yeah, this long-ass hallway fucking area. Also, in case you're wondering, um, it's not so much that I have to stick to this area, but this is the area where the enemies I need will most likely spawn. If you see Save Kitty, there are no enemies. Actually, I think I am going to try to get to the final boss. It's not a long game. That's the thing. That's what the conceit is supposed to be, that it's not meant to be a typical, it's not meant to be an engrossing game because you're supposed to be able to play it over many, many times, but um, I don't really care to. This is Alferez. So this boss sucks ass, because it can do that, and that heals him. There's also no way out of it, in case you're wondering. Once you're there, you're there. And once you're here, you're family. And all that shit. Dragon twins are gone, that's probably good.
I win. From the bottom of my heart flop. All right, um, orange, where is orange again? I think orange is underground. Or I can go to the roof. I need to go to the roof anyway. There's gonna be a cutscene. That alarm is going off anyway, so who cares? Oh, here's one. The cat saves your game. But wait, stove, you say. Isn't it bad to have the save point randomly appear? To that I say, Klon, this is Nuha. Yeah, there's some areas too where all of them show up. We don't need to be here. I'm pretty sure they show up down here, actually. Except save kitty will not go the fuck away. That's a UFO. No, no, no! Fucking hell. Mizoguchi, please stop. So I guess that means that the rest of the enemies are over there, so that's, you know, fantastic. Do not do anything stupid. Do not do anything fucking stupid there. There. He did something fucking stupid! You know what? Here. Yeah, sure is, huh? <laughs> Since now. Everybody wanted this. I'm giving the people what they want. Wait, are they in here too? Are they over here? If they're on this... Oh my god. You need that though. Okay, yeah, we don't need to be down there then. Fuck that area. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is technically meant to be a speed runnable game. I'm gonna throw that one out there, by the way. You are meant to be you are meant to be able to beat this game multiple times. There are 20 endings to this game. I'm gonna throw that one out there too. There are 20 fucking endings to this game. I don't know how you get a lot of them. I don't care really. I got one ending. I'm. I guess going to get a second one? I assume it's probably tied to deaths, but... I don't know. Also the question of, since when does Kobayashi have blonde hair? Because he literally never had before. Oh yeah, no, that's my exact feelings on this. Considering what a non-character Mizuguchi actually is. I guess it's meant to be a, well, it's a story in a Kunio Kun game, who cares? I ain't talking to you yet, fuck you. Alright, let's leave. Actually... I want to get the Dragon Twins, because this is going to take a while. Okay. It's Yabotsu. This fucking Waluigi motherfucker. He just sends a bunch of guys after us, and then we fight him. Actually, you know what? I don't know how smart it is to actually do this here, but we will. You might also be wondering, since when can the Dragon Twins make things explode? Also, why don't I play as one of the Dragon Twins? Why not? See, I can do that. The problem is, you generally don't want to not play as Kobayashi, because if Kobayashi dies, it's game over, so it'd be kind of pointless to, to not do so. Also, why aren't they Kunio more often? Well, Mizuguchi is the only one that can use the special items, so if I don't ha have uh, Kunio here with us, then... Yeah? You can get away with it in some games, this is not one of them.
Well, the thing is, too, the pit is you can't actually jump over that pit. You have to teleport over or Kunio spin over. Are the twins gone yet? No, they're still here. No, they are. They're back. Yeah, I'd say this is the only boss that uh, the twins are actually good to have around. Mostly due to the fact that it's not really a boss. It's just a gauntlet, which is not hard. Yeah. We win. All right. This is a character that doesn't exist. Yeah, there's protective armor on the final boss. We have to break it. It's all my fault. I don't care. This is not the same Yamada. This is a descendant of... Or this is a... The future Yamada. Anyway, we gotta fight this guy now. It's, uh, Kusuhara. They make a big deal out of Yamada, who is not actually in this game, from what I can tell. Like, the actual... Slick is not in this game. This is a boss battle where having the twins around is not good, actually. There. Yeah. See, they keep saying great hero Yamada, but Yamada's an asshole. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have to go fight the final boss now. I don't care. Yeah, you have to fight the bosses in order. But you, you gotta remember what order you fought the bosses in. Wow, you're uh, not gonna give me a save kitty, huh? Here's the final boss. I want the twins to fuck off. Actually, let's see if I can make the orbs appear. The orbs would be really nice to have right now. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Archaic! Again, Yamada don't mean shit! 
So this boss is the goddamn worst. And I can tell you, having the twins around does not help in the slightest. Because of this attack, which might be the worst attack in video games ever. Basically, every attack is invincible on startup. And some of them just track you. And this one goes back and forth. Um, also, like original River City Ransom, if you land on the ground, you die. So, even though I have zero HP, I can still technically win. Oh, actually, I can... What if I get rid of... Uh, here, I'll just do this. But yeah, that attack will fuck you up, and he'll spam it a lot. They'll do that shit too. Let's see if this power-up actually works. So far, it's a big ol' no, it's not. Visibility frames are wonderful, guys. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that the power-up mechanic actually does jack shit. Thank you. 
Also, we can uh, block your attack. There, I beat him. But I did not get the best ending, because of course I didn't. We've saved Yusuke. A follow your move, ha 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 ha. This voice, this sounds different. Yeah, there's about uh, four voice actors. Which, I mean, it's an indie game, fine, that's okay. I'm not gonna dunk on them for that. I will dunk on them for literally everything else. I would like to say, researching the name Mokeke Sekimoto, this is literally the only game I could find. But yeah, um, it's stiff, it doesn't feel good to play, and that final boss can eat a dick. Every, every final boss that you have to cheese to win, usually not great. And I still only got rank C. See something real quick. All right, so I've already gotten the best uh, items to get. I see. So yeah, I'm 10% done, but uh, also, no thanks.